first on four, it's a problem that anyone who drives on the interstate has noticed pieces of truck tires littering the roadways. Well, now federal regulators are searching for a way to improve the safety of the nation's 18 wheeler trucks as the number one number of trucks that is tire related fatal crashes continues to rise. Action Force Brett Crandall has more on who is to blame. Drive down the expressway and you're bound to find pieces of tires scattered along the shoulder or in the middle of traffic. Tire blowouts on big rigs are a growing problem, yet speed limits are rising as high as 85 miles per hour here in Texas. And federal investigators believe it's leading to crashes. Last month, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's investigation into multiple Michelin tire blowouts found that high speeds and a lack of maintenance were to blame. It's usually not recommended to go much faster at, at constant speeds of excess of 70 to 75 miles an hour. Discount tire manager Mark Medlin says faster speeds will lead to more blowouts. So when you exceed the 70, 75 mile an hour, you're actually causing the tire to overheat, which can cause in extreme situations the tread to remove itself from the actual casing of the tire. Speed limits are also increasing on the expressways here in the Rio Grande Valley. Two years ago, when 281 became I-69C, TxDOT increased the speed limit from 70 miles per hour to 75. VP of Operations at Assured Logistics Trucking, William Whithauer, says tire brand does matter. We tried uh, a cheaper tire that was coming from China, and we did have a lot of failures. Now with better tires, Assured Logistics has fewer failures. But Whithauer says the government has failed to improve deteriorating roads. The roads out there are not getting any better, but we're spending more money in fuel taxes. Um, that's supposed to go to the roads. With just 23 trucks, Whithauer spends more than $300,000 a year in taxes meant to go toward infrastructure. I'm spending over $1,300 a month per truck that's supposed to go to the roads. Where is that money? Medlin agrees most interstates and state highways are not ideal for faster speeds. But the road conditions that are usually poor, plus the fact that under inflation, it's just a recipe for a tire failure. Woodhower says there is plenty of blame to go around. And texting and driving is a, probably a much bigger issue than tires. In FAR, Brett Crandall, Action 4 News. Between 2009 and 2013, heavy trucks and buses were responsible for 14,000 fatal accidents, 223 of which were related to heavy truck tires.